Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe the structure of DNA. You should then be able to describe other polymers that we find in living organisms. And all of this is for triple chemistry students only. In the last video we saw that proteins are naturally occurring polymers of amino acids. Another naturally occurring polymer is DNA and we're looking at that in this video. Now the molecule DNA is found in almost all living organisms, including animals, plants, fungi, bacteria and viruses. Now I should point out that some viruses do not contain DNA, but they've got a related molecule instead. DNA encodes the genetic instructions that living organisms need to develop and to function. DNA consists of two polymer chains made from monomers called nucleotides, and it's really important that you learn that word. So I'm showing you here a simple diagram of the two polymer chains in DNA. Now as you can see there are four different nucleotide monomers, and again you could be asked that. Scientists call these nucleotide monomers G, A, T and C for short. Now the two polymer chains wrap around each other to form a double helix, and I'm showing you that here. And again you're expected to use the term double helix in your exam. You will see a lot more about the structure of DNA in the biology videos on this topic. We're going to finish now by looking at some other naturally occurring polymers. It's really important that you learn these. It's very likely that they'll be asked in your exam. As we saw in the last video, proteins are polymers of amino acids. Both starch and cellulose are polymers of glucose, but in these two cases, the glucose molecules are arranged in slightly different ways. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on DNA and other polymers in my Vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above. 